One of the most important studies I've ever come across is from psychologist Dr. Carol Dweck. In this study, fifth graders were given a set of problem-solving tasks. These weren't just memory questions. They were logic puzzles that required focus and problem-solving. After finishing the first set of puzzles, the kids were randomly divided into three groups. Group one got effort-based praise, things like, I saw how focused you were, or you really pushed through and worked hard, great job. Nothing about being smart, just genuine recognition of their effort. Group two didn't get any praise, no compliments, no criticism, just a neutral response. Group three got talent-based praise. They were told they must be really smart based on how well they did. Then all three groups were given a second set of puzzles, but this time the puzzles were much harder. So hard that most kids couldn't solve them. This round wasn't about performance, it was about seeing how well they handled frustration, who kept going, and who gave up. Finally, the kids got one last round of puzzles, about as difficult as the first. This time, the researchers measured how each group performed after being challenged. So who do you think did best? Second best? Worst? And which group kept trying the longest during the hard round? And which group gave up the fastest? The group praise for effort came out on top. They not only improved their performance in the final round, they also stuck with the hard puzzles the longest. They were more persistent, more motivated, and less discouraged by failure. In second was actually the group that got no praise. They didn't show much improvement and they also finished second when measuring persistence. And the kids praised for being smart? They did worse than they did originally. They gave up more easily and struggled under pressure. And this pattern has been repeated in study after study. So what's the lesson? Praise the effort, not the talent.